Right now, if you're in the market for a minivan, you've only got four minivans to choose from. Pretty much, you're limited to the Toyota Sienna, Honda Odyssey, Chrysler Pacifica, and the Kia Carnival. Today, we're comparing the 2023 Toyota Sienna versus the Odyssey head-to-head, -head, and I'll tell you which one is the better minivan. And stay tuned for the shocking controversy over the latest safety tests, which I'm sure will shock you. By the way, a lot of time and research was done to put this video together. And I really want to know what you think. So while you're watching this, please comment below and share your thoughts. First things first. Let me say, as far as minivans are concerned, both the Toyota Sienna and the Honda Odyssey are very reliable overall. Both have been in the market for more than two decades, which means Toyota and Honda have ironed out a lot of details with these minivans. But let me tell you one of the key differences right off the bat. The 2023 Toyota Sienna only comes as a hybrid car, and the Honda Odyssey only comes in a gas-powered version. If you're looking for power, then it's the Odyssey. It comes with a 3.5 liter V6 engine. I'm talking more horsepower and more torque than the Sienna. 280 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque to be exact. So you get better and smoother acceleration with the Odyssey. On the other hand, the Sienna comes with a 2.5 liter inline four with a pair of electric motors. It only gives you 245 horsepower and acceleration isn't impressive. That said, the Toyota Sienna takes the cake when it comes to fuel economy. Reason is because of its hybrid powertrain. The front wheel drive version offers 36 miles a gallon in the city and highway driving. With all wheel drive, you're looking at highway mileage uh, 35 in the city and 36 on the highway. In the meantime, the Odyssey will only give you 19 in the city and 28 on the highway. Also, the Odyssey does not come in all-wheel drive. The 2023 Toyota Sienna has the upper hand when it comes to overall ride and handling. Don't get me wrong, both the Sienna and Odyssey have nice ride and handling. The Odyssey has light steering and confident braking with little body roll when tackling corners. The Sienna has responsive steering and a tight turning circle that makes parking simpler. True, its braking isn't as impressive as the Odyssey's, but the Sienna wins by a long shot because of a feature that doesn't exist with Honda's minivan, all-wheel drive. With all-wheel drive, you're looking at a better ride with more traction on slippery roads. This especially is a game changer if you live somewhere it rains or snows a lot. Let's talk about passenger space. If you get in a minivan, that's usually a priority. Here I feel the Honda Odyssey wins. The Odyssey can seat up to eight passengers, whereas the Sienna takes seven max. If you're a stickler for high seat comforts, the Odyssey comes standard with heated front seats, whereas the Sienna does not. You can get it with the Sienna, but you have to pay for the option. The Odyssey also comes standard with a Honda Magic Slide second row seats. Basically, these seats can be tilted forward or backwards or even completely removed if you want to make room for more cargo. Truth be told, the second row seats are rather heavy and can be a pain to remove, but at least the option is there if you ever need it. The Odyssey also takes the crown when it comes to cargo space because of its removable second row. We're talking up to 38.6 cubic feet cargo space behind the third row, up to 92.3 cubic feet behind the second, and up to 158 cubic feet behind the first. With the Sienna, on the other hand, you can't remove the second row seats. So that's the limiting factor with cargo space. What about towing? Well, if you're in the market for a vehicle with impressive towing power, minivans are hardly even a consideration. Minivans generally lack the towing power you get with large trucks and SUVs. But if you're curious, while the Sienna and Honda are tied, both are ready to pull up to 3,500 pounds, which is pretty average for a minivan. Let's talk about the interior. To be frank, the Honda Odyssey's infotainment system is rather dated, but it wins when it comes to a quieter cabin. The Toyota Sienna offers a solid build quality inside the cabin and many soft touch surfaces. The problem is noise. True, the Sienna's cabin insulation helps with wind and road noise, but the engine noise is rather intrusive, especially under heavy throttle. That said, the Sienna offers more interior features. For example, the Sienna comes standard with a 9-inch touchscreen and 7 USB ports, as opposed to the Odyssey's 8-inch screen and only 2 USB ports. Also, base Sienna models even come with their own Wi-Fi hotspot. Worse than the Odyssey, this is only an option. As far as exterior features, both the Sienna and Odyssey come with standard heated side mirrors to clear away ice and snow. Both models also come with standard LED low and high beam heights for increased visibility while driving. However, the Odyssey takes it a step further with standard LED fog lamps, whereas the Sienna doesn't offer this. The Odyssey also offers optional perimeter approach lights, which is another feature that the Sienna doesn't offer. 
When it comes to affordability, the 2023 Toyota Sienna narrowly takes the top spot. It has three trim options, and the starting MSRP of the base Sienna LE trim is $36,885. The highest trim, which is XSE, starts at $45,205. The Honda Odyssey has five trim options. Starting MSRP for the base CX trim is $37,490, which is close to the Sienna's base trim price. And if you're interested in the top Odyssey trim, which is the Elite, you're looking at $49,620. But now let's talk about safety. One of the best indicators of how safe a vehicle is has to do with how it performs in crash tests. There's only so much that stats on paper can tell you. You need to see how it does in real life driving scenarios. Now here's the thing. You'd think that minivans would be some of the safest vehicles out there. After all, they're the vehicle of choice for many large families across America. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, or IIHS for short, conducted a series of crash tests on 2023 models of the Honda Odyssey, Toyota Sienna, Chrysler Pacifica, and Kia Carnival. While these crash tests are routine and normal, believe it or not, the test raised some serious concern. Actually, the results were honestly embarrassing, if not alarming. In the event of a front-end collision, all four minivans failed to adequately protect rear seat passengers. Out of all four minivans, none received a rating of good or even acceptable. To be clear, the minivans performed well in crash tests for the years prior, but not too long ago, the IIHS decided to raise its standard of testing. Reason is to believe that backseat passengers were being overlooked. According to the IIHS, people in the rear seat are increased risk of fatal injury compared to those in the front seats. You see, it's not that the rear seat has somewhat gotten less safe over time, it's that the front seat has gotten so much safer in comparison. So the IIHS implemented an additional dummy that was seated in the rear seat on the driver's side. The driver dummy is the size of an average adult man, and the rear dummy is the size of a small woman or 12-year-old child. According to the IIHS report, researchers also developed new metrics that now focus on the injuries that are more frequently seen in backseat passengers. For a vehicle to earn a good rating, the second row dummy needs to remain properly positioned during the crash without submarining or sliding forward beneath the lap belt. If this were to happen in real life, it would increase the risk of abdominal injuries. The head of the dummy also needs to remain at a safe distance from the front seat back and the rest of the vehicle interior. The shoulder belt should also stay where it's most effective on the shoulder. During the test, the pressure sensor on the rear dummy's torso is used to check the shoulder belt position during the crash. Well, the overall report found all four minivans provided good protection for front seat occupants, but the problem was when it came to the second row safety. Well, this was an issue for all minivans that were tested. Believe it or not, the 2023 Honda Odyssey received the worst overall score out of the four minivans. Three of the minivans received a marginal rating, but the Odysseys received a poor rating. The most concerning issue with the Odyssey safety is the risk of head and neck injuries. In the poorly rated Odyssey, the forces of the head and neck were very high. Crash video showed that the rear seat belt allowed the dummy's head to come too close to the front seat back, which also increases the risk of head injuries. On top of that, the restraint systems in all four vehicles are found to leave the second row occupant vulnerable to chest injuries. This could be either because of excessive belt forces or poor belt positioning. And that's concerning because injuries like that can prove to be fatal. Out of the four minivans, only the 2023 Toyota Sienna is equipped with belt pretensioners and force limiters. These are both technologies that are designed to reduce belt forces. Despite this, the rear dummy in the Sienna is still submarine beneath the lap belt, and the shoulder belt moved out the shoulder towards the dummy's neck during the test. Interestingly, the Sienna was the only minivan tested that had seat belt reminders for the second row seats. In the 2023 Kia Carnival and Chrysler Pacifica, the seat belt exerted too much force on the dummy's chest. The side curtain airbag of the Pacifica also didn't deployed during the test. While forces on the rear dummy's neck were within reasonable limits in the Pacifica and Sienna, they were substantially higher in the Carnival. This means that it poses more of a risk of a head or neck injury. If you're wondering how the four car makers responded to these poor tests, well, Stellantis said in a statement that no single test determines vehicle safety. It added that it engineers its vehicles in real life performance and routinely considers third party ratings and factors in them into its product development processes as appropriate. The company also said that it has a long history in the minivan segment and that the security and protection of its customers are critical concerns at Stellantis. According to Stellantis, every one of its models exceeds or meets all applicable federal vehicle safety standards. But regardless of what Stellantis may say, this Chrysler Pacifica did not exceed or even meet the IIHS safety standards, and that's that. Kia said that Kia America prioritizes vehicle safety and that all Kia vehicles shown in the U.S. meet or exceed federal motor vehicle safety standards. Kia also said the passenger protection is complex and involves a diverse range of variables. Kia also said it would carefully evaluate the results of the IIHS test as part of what it calls its commitment to continuous improvement in occupational protection. 
If you're curious about Honda's response, well, Honda said that Honda's a leader in IIHS safety rating with 10 Acura and Honda models recognized by the Institute with their 2023 top safety pick or top safety pick plus ratings, including the 2023 Odyssey. Honda said the IIHS updated testing metrics challenged cars that were fully engineered prior to the introduction of the new test mode. If you were wondering what Toyota said about all this, interesting enough, it remained rather silent with regard to the IIHS ratings of the 2023 Sienna. But now you tell me, what do you think of the new safety results? Which is the better minivan, the Toyota Sienna or the Honda Odyssey? Please share by commenting below. If you liked today's video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for your support.